So a lot of people are habituated to having a drink in the evening. When would one realize that they have become addicted and how can we help them avoid it? One is the organ oriented approach that is you know if you find that your liver is uh, showing signs of strain through the methods i mentioned liver function tests ultrasound fibro scan it means that you know it is time to stop the other is actually called a cage questionnaire in which na if suppose you yourself feel that at times you feel that uh, you wanted to stop but you are not able to stop you thought that you should stop sometimes you feel guilty of not being able to stop that is you come home and the children want to you to take them to the market but you say that no 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 i have to have my drink obviously you know there is an element of guilt sometimes you know if people keep pointing out to you that look i think yeah you are drinking every day this is not good for you and then you get into a fight or a brawl and say oh you are calling me an alcoholic no 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 i am not addicted no that's called annoyance okay so so this is called a cage questionnaire and the last is e that is eye opener which means that you know the first thing you think of in the morning when you get up is that you need a drink to be able to feel nice so that you can face the day now these are some of the things which should make yourself or you realize that look it's time that you talk to a therapist or you took a bit of help because things are not going too well you yourself in a way realize it but you're not willing to face it so these are i would say more social psychological parameters there are organic parameters which i mentioned through tests and the most important is that you know leave your liver aside you mentioned a while ago anshika quite a few people die because of road traffic accidents related they died due to violence there is a problem at home the work and envi- the home environment is so bad that your next generation is going to remember the dad who always came home drunk and fought with my mother so you know there are a lot of consequences of alcohol and i think that if any of them come to the fore a sensible person should think that look this is becoming too much of a problem and i should better give it up so personal perspective and psychological and social issues affect one's consumption of and alcohol. no harm in going to a therapist and taking his view that do you think that i should continue this way or not see one of the problems with alcohol i'll tell you uh, people start off many a times thinking that it's just a little social habit and i'll do it maybe once in two weeks and then you know the parties become a little more frequent then it becomes daily and i get a lot of patients now who would come and say no 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 i am not addicted you know i give it up for those nine days of navratri and that's not enough you <laughs> mean after all your liver is really still telling you things are not good so many of my other patients say that during ramzan i don't drink but it's hardly anything if your liver is already showing signs of cirrhosis okay so the question is you have to be a little more objective because what alcohol does is fools you into believing that you are in command and you are you are very healthy which you may not be and uh, so when and somebody else tries to point it out then you get very annoyed about it so it goes on into a vicious cycle so that's what really happens